Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to do the filtering of the data in Excel. Okay. So there are various types of filters which we normally do uh, while working with the Excel sheet. That is uh, number filtering, date filter and text filter. Let us see one by one. First is number filter. For that I have uh, some data which includes the number uh, that is uh, IA marks. Okay. Now let us see how to do the filtering of the numbers. Okay. To filter the numbers means filtering of the numbers means uh, we will extract the numbers as, as we want. For example, if you want to extract how many members who have taken the Mars between 20 to 50, you can do that by using filter option. Suppose if you want to <coughs> know how many members who have taken the Mars uh, more than 40, that is also possible. Like this, however, you want the filter data that is possible using this filter option. Okay. Let us see that. Now I will consider this IA1 marks. Okay. Here you have sort and filter option. Click on sort and filter. Below you have an option called filter. Click on filter. Okay. Now filter is created on the whole table. So here you have a drop down list. Click on drop down list. So here you have uh, so many options. If you want to know uh, the number of uh, students who have taken the marks equal to some number, equal to 20 or 40 or 50, whatever, does not equal to greater than, greater than or equal to less than, less than or equal to between top 10, everything is possible. Or if you want to know how many members who have taken the marks of 22 okay so first what i will do is i will deselect all okay i want to know how many members who have taken the marks 22 i'll just select 22 i'll say okay now it is giving for first time marks the two members have taken the marks of 22 okay so this data you if you want you can extract Okay, you can clear the data as well here go to certain filter again if you type, uh, click on filter the filter will be clear now <coughs> let us see few more options on filtering of the numbers filter now here you have an option called number filter equals already, already we have seen so either you can do by selecting the number or manually you can enter okay equals to 22 like this also you can extract that you will get the same result I run filter again select on filter now I want to select the numbers which are greater than 22 or 25 25 now it is giving all the data which is greater than 25 okay similarly if you want to know the numbers which are less than 30 it is giving you can see now all the numbers which are less than 30 appearing in this list okay then uh, number filters if you want to know how many members who have taken the marks between 45 to 45 to 50 is giving okay given the list who have overall taken <coughs> the marks between 45 to 50 okay let us see few more options if you want to know 
the top 10 members okay top 10 members if you click on top 10 before that I will clear the filter now filter top 10 members here uh, when you click on top 10 you can change that number also instead of top 10 if you want top 20 or top 5 that number can be changed i will retain the same number top 10 only save okay now it is giving top 10 numbers means top 10 numbers means top 10 marks okay taken by the students now let us explore few more options filter 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 numbers <coughs> less than or equal to above average below average that is also possible above average also it is giving means it will calculate the average of all the numbers okay for all the people who have taken more than that average number it is displaying here okay clear the filter <coughs> I'll clear the filter then apply the filter number filter uh, below average also you can uh, work out less than or equal to 25 this also it is giving so all the options you can get it okay with respect to the number filtering okay so this is about number filter next uh, let us see how to do the filtering of the date for that i have one more data see, see here i have uh, one response sheet submitted by the faculty members okay it is submitted from may uh, October 19, 2022 to up to 2023 I have uh, the data okay now let us see how to filter the dates okay initially you go here so if uh, this sort and filter option is not available in the home screen it will be available in the data screen here filter screen okay you can apply the filter then with respect to the date, let us see what are all the filters available. Okay. See, it is asking sort oldest to the newest, sort newest to the oldest. Already this list is with respect to oldest to the newest. Okay. Already it is arranged as per oldest to the newest. If you want to change it to newest to the oldest that is possible i'll change to newest to oldest yes it is given okay new uh, newest date it is giving first and oldest date it is giving at the last and one more option is possible <coughs> if you want to see the response which are submitted in the year of only 2022 i'll select only those 2022 say okay now you will get the responses which are sub submitted in the year of 2022 only okay if you want uh, all this data which are submitted uh, in the year of 2022 you can just copy and paste it somewhere else okay then uh, let us see which are all the other options i'll clear the uh, filter uh, filter which I done earlier then uh, you have few more options with respect to the date similar to the number you have uh, options here with respect to the date equals to before after between okay I'll select between <coughs> between uh, between June 
November 4, 2023. If you want the data, say okay. It will give between June to June 22 to November 23. It will give the data. Correct. Which are all the responses which I received from June to June 2022 to November 2023 is displaying here. Again, in this, if you want to do further fil filtering, you can do it. If you want, again, this, if you want, uh, the responses which are uh, submitted in the year 2023, it will give again. Again, it will do the further filtering. Okay. Now, I'll clear all the filter. Let us explore few more options. Date filter between after, okay, after say November 8, 2022, okay, current responses which are submitted after 8 November 2022. Yes, it will give. Okay, it is giving all the responses which are sub submitted after November 8, 2022. Okay. So, like this, you can uh, work on all the options which are available with respect to the filtering of the date okay <coughs> to this uh, the date filter is over <coughs> next let us see how to do the filtering of the text filtering of the text so here let me clear the filter okay now <coughs> i want the responses which are sub submitted by only the CSE department and EC department means I'll deselect all CAC I'll select EC I'll select if you say ok you will get uh, the responses which are sub submitted by only computer science and electronics department faculty members ok if you want to clear the filter which you applied earlier, it will get cleared. Then let us see few more options with respect to the filtering of the text which begins with. Okay, this is also uh, possible. If you want to filter the data which begins with letter I, okay, means IAC, begins with letter I. Capital like say okay, it is giving okay, that is also possible. Clear filter. Then, if you want to <coughs> filter the data that ends with ends with say R R E E it will give all the uh, branches which which are ending with letter E all the responses it is displaying here ok now with respect to the name of the class teacher you can do the filtering I want to select the names with Abilash and I'll set any other name it is giving. Okay, responses submitted by those names. It is giving. Clear filter. Okay, this is how uh, we do the filtering of the text or filter with respect to the text. Okay, this is what the filter option in Excel. Thank you.